Now let's start with cloud front today. When I say Amazon cloud front, it is a content delivery network operated by Amazon Web Services. When I say content delivery network, <coughs> here you need to understand the content delivery network means AWS will create, AWS will have multiple edge locations. I'm sure you hear about the concept of edge locations. What they do is they create multiple locations over the globe so that if your data is you are requesting your data again and again instead of pushing the data from origin service origin servers they push a data to you from their edge locations like <clears throat> you have the videos you have the bulky media where you have the images, where you have the video files. So in that case, instead of every time going to the origin service, origin servers, what AWS do is just go to cache servers, which is called at edge location. So there are two things you need to understand when you go for the cloud front. One is edge locations. Second is regional edge locations so i will tell you what's the difference out of it let me draw that image that you will understand better when you say edge location First, you need to understand AWS has region. Inside that region, let's say we have three regions. Let me just design it in a way. I have three regions, right? Or just create one region. That's exam. For example, I have one region. Uh, for one region, it will be not be easy to understand. Let's assume we have two regions. This is my Mumbai region, and this would be my US East one region. I have two regions, which is one is Mumbai AP South one, another is US East one, which is North Virginia. Right? In these three, in these two regions, what happens is I have the concept of availability zones. Let's call it. This is your availability zone one. Similar way, you have the availability zone two. Similar way, you have concept of availability zone three. Let me call it AZ one. This is AZ two. This is AZ three. Although US East one have six availability zone, but let's assume it has three. So I'm calling it AZ one, AZ two, and AZ three. Now what happens is I am creating one application that is my web app. Okay, when I am creating my web app and I am hosting my application to the servers, my user is coming from India, which is Mumbai, right? In that case, it is a perfect fine solution that you are serving data from to user from the India location, which is Mumbai. In Another case, user is coming from US East 1, North Virginia. In that case, it is also fine that you are serving the data from these servers. But what happens now if user is coming from, let's say, some other location, which is Singapore or Australia? In that case, it is a not a good design because user have to cross the cross country ISP details. They have to handshake with other providers and that will introduce a latency into the system. So reduce to handle this type of situation or even for one location, let's say, let me give one more example so that you can understand better. <clears throat> in the Mumbai itself or in the US East one itself, let's call there is a location with the name of let's take this example i have look with the location 
with the name of x az2 is y and az3 is z now what is happening is my user is coming from a location which is not near to any location of availability zone but i want to serve the data to user as soon as i can give so in that case what aws is saying you hey don't rely on my just uh, availability zones i am giving the concept of edge locations so there is no picture but just ignore it the yeah, edge location there it is so a they aws create multiple edge locations for you at india only where they have three availability zones now they are creating multiple edge locations multiple edge locations they are creating like this in the similar way they are creating a edge location in us also if you ask me what are the locations can i see the locations yes answer is yes you can see it let me share the details with you edge locations like this if i you want to know the details of it aws edge locations list you will see a list here uh let me find a aws edge locations i just want to see the edge locations and locations aws edge location presence list edge location presence list yeah this is a right link <clears throat> here you can see list in north america they have edge location washington dc chicago new york 10 atlanta G10 Los Angeles and list the uh, nine Europe Frankfurt Germany 17 London UK 24 in Asia Tokyo Japan New Delhi Chennai Singapore Osaka they have multiple locations we are creating their edge locations the benefit i told you that if my user is let's suppose this is my user and this user is asking for web application in a url you're just typing the url of website and asking for result and you have images let's say for example to understand this example let's say i'm opening one website click info okay on this click info i have multiple images i have multiple videos also right if that is your website and you want to make it good website the expectation is now that is if your website is opening pages coming into the 3 uh, seconds of time it is a good website if it is more than 3 second user will feel bored and user will leave the website this is a perception market has because every every month's time is very very important so 3 second is fine just to upload or you can say uh, website to be come into the picture but if you see the data of it in the google chrome you can see it go to more tools and click on developer tools and you can see how many requests are going on this server when i am uploading this page espn quick info that you can see in any browser but let me just clear the traffic and hit it again once you hit it it will tell you these numbers of calls are going espn click info gpt.js file which is javascript file then multiple images jpeg file jpg file js file js file multiple files are coming right in a single call internally we are calling multiple things and that makes is 
slow because we are calling multiple operations multiple images right to make it faster what we can do is whatever content is available for caching which is the right candidate for caching you can just apply the uh, edge location concept on that features or that media files using cloud front so that is what i am talking about if you come back to my diagram if my user is coming from one location in that case user will redirect or internally if you are creating a cloud front for it so request will go to edge location first and through edge location it will go to origin server and origin server from origin server that data will be picked up and store on edge location again and you can set the ttl time to leave so let's say i have one image and that image is not going to be changed in one day so instead of going to my availability server availability zone server i would request to edge location if edge location has that data it will give back to me if it has no data it will go to server and take it and in next request it will return the same data so you can say it's a caching concept when i say cloud front it's a caching concept you're caching your data and to cache your data these are the steps basically these are the things you need to understand first distributions when i say distributions to use amazon cloud front you need to start with creating distribution so distribution means once you are creating a distribution aws will return a dns domain name when you create a distributions to serve file from amazon cloud front you simply use the distribution name in place of your website domain name the rest of file paths stay unchanged what it means let's say i am saying in my website i am hosting my website to s3 just imagine i am hosting my website to s3 and in that s3 i have five files index.html logo.png i have array.html i have home.html these four pages i have in my website so what it is saying to serve files from amazon cloud front you simply use the distribution domain name in place of your website domain name so what will happen now if you say my website is www.example.com slash index.html or you have another example let, let me just copy it slash logo.png in a similar way you have third example array.html and home.html right now with this line what it is saying is the only url will be changed the rest of the things will remain same let's say cloud front is giving you url www.cloudfront test.com slash this is not the url please don't test it this is just a dummy url i will be creating a distribution and use a url original url but i am explaining you how it works this will be works like this www.cloudfronttest.com slash rest things will not be changed this is what it is saying the rest of the file path stay unchanged second point is origins when i say origins origin can be s3 origin can be http server so people call it there are two type of things one is static caching one is dynamic caching and both type of caching is available in cloud front i will share the example of dynamic caching also but let's first understand what is static cache static cache means you have one file available over the s3 which is your storage location you have hosted one of the website 
and now you are hitting that website so that is your static files and in the case of static files what aws will do aws will cache this part using cloud front technology and you have to define your origin origin in that case would be s3 when you are hosting static application the origin will be s3 and when you host dynamic website it would be http server i think it's clear to you next thing is cache control cache control is once you are requesting an item and served from an edge location objects stay in the cache until they expire or in invalidate to make room for frequently requested content this is very very important when you are going for the interviews or when you are going for the certification normally 5 to 10% of questions comes for the cloud front only it is very powerful service and you can make your application performance wise better very better in fact with the right cloud front strategy so cache control cache control means for how many period you want to cache that particular objects like in my case i am saying my images will remain same for next one day in that case you will be keeping your files images for one day cache as a period it always works in a second so you have to convert your 24 hours in seconds and then you will set it i will let you in the demo how to do it then amazon cloud front distribution can also be set up to serve dynamic which i already told you that you can do both type of caching one is static cache another is dynamic cache we can do both this is a diagram to understand if user is saying www.example.com my first first request would go to edge location and from edge location it will go to my http server or s3 server and the same object will return to edge location and then from edge location it will be returned to user let's see in the lab when you go to lab these would be the steps to perform let me just delete a blank slide also these would be the steps when you are going to create a cloud front first you have to create a bucket which i will keep it private and i will add some static files to it second i would be creating a distribution then i will be choosing my bucket then i would be creating a origin access i will tell you what is the role of it i will choose this option yes update the bucket policy then i will change this property change your property and leave rest of the settings at default let me go to aws quickly and design it and i forgot to uh, explain you one more thing there is a one more concept this is edge location but there is a concept of region also region cache also when i say region cache this is very very important to understand what do you mean by region cache what happens in the region cache is let's say you are accessing this edge location multiple times right and now that document or media file whatever you are accessing that is that expiry time is near let's say it is going to expire in that case what aws will do is aws will keep that item to the region cache server regional they have the regional cache server also which is separate from edge locations so now if you take example i am in mumbai location and i am continuously hitting on this location edge location right and now new content is coming on my website on az1 and that edge location is getting a new content that's fine but about about the older content that was frequent access items what aws will do will store the data on region cache regional cache servers so that next time if you are hitting the same request it will not go to your availability zone servers 
it will go to region servers that will make your application faster than if you are going to serve the data from availability zone servers